So if you have a Polaris Genesis Barrage, um, and I believe even the um, TXI, some of those models, all of the ones that have the Fitch fuel injection system will have a uh, TPS uh, attached to the throttle body. And that TPS sends a signal to the EMM uh, letting the EMM know how much fuel to inject into the cylinders. Uh, these are um, not like the normal throttle position sensors that go in a car. Uh, they're made differently. So these are very unique to the Polaris uh, Genesis Barrage engines. And so I'm going to show you how to uh, work on repair a TPS. So the main part that fails is the plastic housing around the actual unit. Um, that black plastic is 20, at least 20 years old, 19, 20, 21, 22 years old. Um, and uh, it just degrades over time and needs to be repaired. So this is one that, uh, that came off of the latest Genesis that I purchased. And it was in a um, Ziploc bag in this condition broken all to pieces. So I'm going to show you how to uh, repair one of these, get it back going. You can buy these on um, eBay and different places. Uh, you may you may get lucky and find one uh, in the $125, $150 range, um, but I have seen them go for as much as three, three or $400. So um, repairing these um, makes a lot more sense to me since I deal with these jet skis a good bit. So I took a new one and made a silicone mold. Um, just poured silicone around it. I put uh, bolts in the bottom of it to um, level it out. And so, and then once it dried, I cut a slit in it so the wires can go through it. Um, and so I will put the old one in this and then pour epoxy around, let it set up and then take it back out of the mold and we should have a good TPS. So that is the part in the mold and ready for epoxy to be poured around it. And I put, uh, I put that little bolt in there to, um, I had a piece coming over that would hold this down right in place where it needed to be. Um, but to me, it is easier now just to just to put something on top of it and hold it down like that. It's just easier. So whatever you can find to be the easiest way to do it, uh, do it your way. Um, and I'm going to put a uh, two-part epoxy going to mix it together and pour it in the in the mold that will be what will uh, become the new um, plastic surround I guess you could say except it'll be epoxy so I mixed up the epoxy and poured it into the mold so now we wait 24 hours and break it out of the mold okay so it's been 24 hours we'll take all the stuff around it off and I put uh, you can use silicone or uh, well, I've used grease so that I can lithium grease so I can wipe it all back off just to keep that epoxy from flowing out of the uh, out of the hole so I'm gonna clean that off before I start taking it apart just to keep that stuff from getting everywhere. Okay, so that's the TPS in the mold and uh, the three bolts that I put in there to level it out. So it should break apart. There we go. I'm just gonna push down through here to break it away from the 
top of it. All right, so got that got that all broken loose and sometimes you have to <clears throat> stick something in there to get those little studs of silicone broke loose but once you get it it should come on out goes so now we have a nicely formed TPS and I can run a drill bit up through here and just kind of clean those holes out got the metal insert in and it can it is able to slide back and forth inside there which is what it's supposed to do um, and I just put it on you can put it on a piece of metal anything to level it out and then file the epoxy down to where you start hitting the metal now now we know that the metal is uh, hitting it i'm gonna push push the metal out now they're they're flush i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the plastic or the uh, epoxy down a little past take it a little past that way I'm absolutely sure that all the pressure is going to be on the metal insert rather than the ear okay come on file just a little bit on this side just to level it level it down that's good now I'm now I'm certain that that the uh, insert is going to be a little proud and there it is that's that's exactly where you want it that way when you tighten it down it's this this will actually be able to move back and forth there I'm done with it. I'm just putting the final touches on it. I opted to paint the outside of it rather than tint the epoxy. So I'm just going to paint the, paint the outside of it. Do a little primer on it first. Should do it right there. Final coat. And there it is installed. If you're watching this, you probably want to know how to diagnose a bad throttle position sensor um, on a normal automobile type and probably on most all other kinds of jet skis outside of the Fitch. Um, the throttle position sensors are potentiometers um, and you don't have to, you can just put an ohm meter on it and as you turn it, the resistance changes. Very simple way to test those. But on these, on anything Fitch, uh, they require five volts of uh, input in order to make these make these work. They're not potentiometers, they are Hall effect. I don't exact, exactly know how they're made on the inside, but I'm pretty sure that uh, there is a magnetic field that changes, um, you, you uh, the uh, EMM puts five volts into the uh, throttle position sensor. And as it turns, that five volts is amplified uh, into the output. Uh, so I think it's just like magnet gets closer together or something. Not exactly sure how it works. I've never taken one apart because all, the ones I've always had, it was the um, it was the plastic part on the outside that was broken. So um, once I fixed that, they all started working fine. Um, so uh, just uh, 
you, you can bench test them if you have a um, way to put five volts into them. But um, I've never done that. There are people that, that know how to do that. But really, in all reality, if, it, if your jet ski runs good with one in it, and you put, and then it, it don't run, you put a known good TPS in and it runs good, then that means that was what it was. I would always um, carry a spare TPS with you as well as spark plugs um, all the time and a 10 millimeter uh, wrench and an eight millimeter socket for that um, TPS, spark plug wrench, stuff like that. I always carry that with you. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Hope it was inside. If you don't have a new TPS or a known good one that has a good um, plastic body around it, um, I have been able to piece together the ears and piece together all the plastic on one that was cracked, uh, broken apart, and make a mold using the old one that's cracked up. Just kind of glue it all back together and um, make a mold and then take it out and then now you have a good mold. Um, I have tried to glue those things back together, epoxy them back together, and they always end up breaking, coming apart. So that's the, uh, that's the solid fix for those.